Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another video about SAF Blazer. One question that we got from one of the students is how easy is to set up OAuth authentication in SAF Blazer. So let's briefly show the few steps involved. First one, we are right here in the SAF solution wizard. So let's run the wizard to see the choice that we have. Okay, Blazer. XPO as always. And right there, let's select the standard and we're gonna select OAuth authentication provider. So that's it. Basically, we can click next, select the modules and so on and so on, but we can now go to our solution that we already have implemented. So if we switch to Visual Studio now. So right here, this is a brand new blank uh, soft laser application. And the only thing that we did in this add external authentication method is comment out the return. If you see, you can even read the comments where it says that if the OAuth provider that you want, you just comment out the return and you're good to go. Now, with that uh, being said, the last thing that we need to do is go to the app settings. And right here we have in the Azure AD uh, section, we are going to put the login on Microsoft uh, online.com. That's the one that we're going to use uh, in this case, but this could be another OAuth uh, provider link. We're gonna select our domain. We're gonna select the tenant ID. And in this case, we're allowing everyone to log in. That's why we have common, but right here we can select actually a tenant ID uh, that is a similar to a GUI that we put in there and only people from that tenant will, will allow to join in and the client ID of the app, the user app. I think we're gonna do another video showing all the configuration that uh, we need to do in the Azure part. If you are using this OAuth provider, of course, we can use any other one, but that's it. That's basically, now if we run, we leave the callback path as it is. Now, if we run the application, And we click Open ID Connect. It's right away because we already signed in, he signed us in, and it went directly to my details. So the user is already created and we're good to go. That simple is to use OAuth authentication in SAFLACE. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.